it's been since I played a lot of these games that like I'm booting them up now to LP and they're all just like I played through them again this is another one of those games where I had another account I played through it did everything changed account for censorship reasons and uh Luckily, it's not as bad as DMC because you're not really unlocking new abilities. Okay, I think we can play this offline. It's not like I'm um, doing sick online play at the moment. I'm just playing, going to play through the campaign. So, um, I'm actually, like, I live and work in China, as I've probably mentioned before now in several of these videos. I'm kind of, this is going to date the video as well, but like, I'm kind of sat at home, unable to go to work because everything's shut down because of the coronavirus outbreak. Because that happened two provinces over from where I work and live, and there were some cases in our area. Um, and it means because I work in a kindergarten of all places, they're going to obviously keep the place shut down because people at risk from these flu like viruses are the elderly the people with immunodeficiency disorders, and the very young. So, kind of want it to stop infecting people, so I don't get to go to work for, like, months at a time. So, that's why I'm LPing. It's also about a month or so before RE3 comes out. Great, it's ready to install. Um... idea where I am though. I'm gonna start another game. Let's see where I was. Oh man, I go pretty far as well. That's annoying. So um, I was gonna do a playthrough of the Claire campaign thinking I hadn't done it on the save already and I'd already got quite a fair amount through but like I can start a new game and just not cover my old save files. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna just quickly run through this Claire campaign before March comes around or is it still March RE3 comes out? I'm waiting for Doom Eternal first. I'm a huge Doom fan. I'm gonna be playing Doom Eternal first. And uh, then I'm gonna be playing RE3 because I'm one of these people who when RE2 originally came out, I, it was 1998, I would have been Six, five or six, so yeah. <laughs> I didn't play it when it first came out, and they made a remake, and this kicked me up the ass a lot about playing RE games. Uh, this is the reason I played any Resident Evil game, and for diehards who are in their later 30s, I'm nearly hitting 30 myself, Jesus fucking Christ, that's depressing. Born in 92 and nearly 30. Yeah, does that make you feel old? Um, yeah, I didn't play the original. I didn't play Metal Gear Solid when it first came out. I went back and I bought a PlayStation Mini and I played through Resident Evil Director's Cut. It was a Japanese PlayStation Mini and I was trying to get the one that had Rayman and Siphon Filter on it and all of this stuff and I ended up with the Japanese one which has shit like Jumping Flash and not Dig Dug, the one where you drill, so, no, I don't want to say Simon the Driller, that's fucking, <laughs> that's girl, <laughs> you know who I mean, uh, and it had a load of stuff I didn't recognize and everything was in Japanese. Except for our Resident Evil Director's Cut, which is voice acted in English in the Japanese version for some reason. And I play Metal Gear Solid in pure Japanese. Not that I'm like a huge Japanophile or whatever, I refuse to say weeb, but like where I live and the kind of censorship that I get on video games means I have to get special things imported that aren't supposed to be imported but no one gives a shit about the law here and that means that that's why I have a lot of like Japanese stuff
because it's like the nearest place, right? They can't, like, a lot of media gets censored here, which means video games with blood in and all of this stuff gets censored. So we're going to start a new game. Um, we can talk about this as I go. I already played Leon's. I was tempted to do Leon's again because then we get to do Ada section and we get to talk about Ada and stuff, but uh, if I finish Claire's, just do this. And the uh, baby. Oh, yeah, but I don't need Amethyst. We'll just do it on standard and we'll just. If I never finish this full LP. Full LP. If I never finish this, <clears throat> and it, then therefore it is not an L full LP, it's, uh, I'll let this play out. Uh, it's because I got bored. Or I was bad. I could do with a hamburger right now. It's either a really tasty hamburger with a lot of flavor, it's one of those weirdly wet hamburgers where the meat doesn't really taste of anything because it's not good quality beef. You've got to have good quality beef. Looks like it was running. So, probably in, sounds like it's, it's a kind of maybe in poor taste for me to be playing this right now as it's a viral outbreak going on, but I've done stupider things whilst living in China during a very sensitive time, such as going outside with a mask on and thinking, boy, I sure am chilly. I'll wear my biker scarf, which makes the lower half of my face look like a skull face and put my hood up because it's raining of my black NATO jacket. Oh, I'm just walking around an epidemic center, which had just been announced in my area was an epidemic center, dressed as the grim fucking reaper. <laughs> And everyone was giving me a wide ass berth because they do not like symbols of death in most Asian cultures, especially during epidemics. So, uh, yeah, you can see why I was not popular <laughs> around that time. Um, and if you're like, oh, you must have been doing that for attention, remember, I am a metalhead and I do dress in a certain way a lot of the time um, without really thinking about it. If I'm dressing casual, I'm just going to slap on whatever's in my wardrobe and a lot of it has skulls on. <laughs> and pentagrams and they don't really like religious shit over here regardless of if it's the devil or the Jesus so <laughs> can't walk around saying God saves us all and you can't walk around with a t-shirt that says God hates us all either they don't like it it's kind of not a thing Ooh, actually a Harley Davidson or is that like Does she, does she actually legit ride a Harley Davidson? That's pretty cool. Like it's the legit real one. Can I buy the Claire Harley Davidson? That's what I want to know. Because it's a pretty classic looking style one as well. Man, I would love a chopper or a cruiser or anything like that. Just to, for the engine sound, man. So, um... Can't do anything in this area. The Borgas. Uh -huh. I actually thought that was that bit at the bottom was them building the burger up first. You got the bun, then you got the patty, and then I realized it was just a series of rings. God, I'm an idiot. I'm blind. A little wine to wind down the day. But you clearly drove here. If you drink and drive. Herb ice cream on the right there. The herb and the ice cream. I know that a lot of people make parallels to like the green herbs being like probably it could be a marijuana reference and it's never been confirmed. But I want to legit say, could you put genuine like CBD stuff? You know they make gummies now because it's legalized in a lot of countries. Could you put it in ice cream or would that taste disgusting? 
Just wondering, because then this could be real. Not in my country, not where I'm living now, not where my country of origin is. It's banned everywhere still, because... Yeah. <laughs> guy was LARPing. He got really into it and bit me. We just shoved him down this spooky... And like, this asshole... I've, I've looked back at... I've played this game a lot. But like, <laughs> this asshole fucking sh puts a person in and just slams and locks the door. Like... You could just slam and lock the door before and just be like, no, don't get, like, what, what was the point in this? Whatever. By the way, this guy hard gets rocked by the player character Leon or Claire, purely because he gets distracted by us coming in, and it makes me feel so bad. <laughs> bullets in this game? Yes. Am I elite player? No. Am I like one of those OCD guys who's like, if I can avoid ever dealing with anybody, I'm just going to sway around them? No. <laughs> Do I have a tactic? No. Wahoo pizza. Oh, wrong game. a lot of toilet duck. I hear him. Oh, I pissed around for too long. <laughs> Hello, friend. Oh, no, friend. <laughs> in the tutorial area. I'm losing health in the tutorial area. I go this way. I go this way, right? This is like your tutorial on how key items work. Look, it works like this. You'll never need this key again because guess what? You're never gonna come back here. This is the tutorial area. Oh, inconvenient zombie is inconvenient. Kneecap. Knee kneecap, there we go. <laughs> One of his knees refused to kneecap. It was a bionic knee. Ew. I wasn't actually scared, but I just They got down. They partied. It's Friday. Get down. My life is like, my brain is like encyclopedia of dumb memes. So imagine this to be insufferable. Ah, oh, I can't believe that behind me there's a zombie. When there's zombies around me all over the place. Knock knock. Who's behind me? It's zombie. Oh, what a surprise. I also feel really bad that, like, Claire just leaves her pretty sweet motorcycle behind here. And we never see it for the rest of the game. She never gets it back. They escape through a different means. And we never see the amazing motorcycle. And she never references it. Like, they should make a Revelations game talking about her motorcycle. <laughs> like, damn, I miss my motorcycle. Just a bit of flavor text on one thing, a diary or something. Damn, I miss that. That's a sweet motorcycle. <laughs> Wouldn't it feel a little also weird that the pharmaceutical company is on the sign? Imagine you're like, welcome to... Birmingham, home of GlaxoSmithKline, would you, that would be weird, right? <laughs> this is a really nice, it really sets up, look how fucked the city is. You'll never spend time in it. You'll spend a very small amount of time in it. 
wait for RE3 to come out. Then you can spend time in it. <laughs> it's just like, okay. So, yeah. I could probably spend the entire playthrough triggering people on my, like, exposure to Resident Evil being in a completely fucked up and wrong order, where it's mostly like... Oh shit, I brought that up. <laughs> Would this broadcast still be going out if it's clearly wrong now? So yeah, like I was saying, pretty poor taste for me for you to be doing this during a viral outbreak because everything about RE is viral outbreak. Was like, dude, I just want to play the video game. I'm not really thinking about like context or anything. And like I said, I do stuff that's worse all the time. Like lately, I was listening to uh, cattle, de cattle de de decapitation, and uh, they have a song called "Bring Back the Plague," which is le legit catchy tune, but it's probably not appropriate for me to be blasting it in my house right now, <laughs> considering where I live and what's happening, but like, hardly any of my neighbours speak English, so it's fine. If they do, they're probably just used to my bullshit at this point. And listening to me sing songs like Dead Skin Mask and Hammer Smashed Voice. Like, like, oh, this guy, all he does is make animal noises. Is that what foreigners do? Yeah. So foreigners, what is this language of the oh? <laughs> is this some sort of foreign language that these people speak? Oh, oh. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just ruining this for everybody who's never seen this game. If you've not seen this game yet, though. You seriously should go out and buy and play this game, because I just saw gameplay of it the first time. I was watching someone else LP it, and I saw trailers and shit, and I was like, well, if there's any time for me to get into RE, it's probably around now, as I literally just played the director's cut of the first game and was like, really playing it for the memes of Barry, the Barry memes. What do you think of it? And all, that, all of that stuff. It's really good against living things, and all of that stupid shit. And then I was just like, oh yeah, I played this game. The tank controls were pretty painful in the first game. Oh look, they made it like over the shoulder, HD, fancy shit. It feels more like RE4, which I also didn't play until afterwards. It looks more action-y. Zambies. What's the run? Where's the run? Long hair Zambi. Is this the right way? They make... I always used to think the screeching in this sounds very Left for Dead zombie. And I don't remember in the more classic games, the zombies in um, more classic RE games making those kind of... I think it's just like the hive mind now says that's what zombies sound like. The kind of kind of noise, and rah, 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 rah. silly monster noises that are just like this could have been Cookie Monster at one point. Oh my god, they should make a mod where they're all Cookie Monsters and they're just after cookies. Yes. <laughs> Can I get not tagged in this really pointless section? It's not gonna have. I'm not gonna come back to and has no items in. Good. I'm not doing too bad. I haven't got murdered straight away. There's nothing here. But I always look. So immersive. She's wet and she's trying to rub the pot with her hand. Which we all do, even though it doesn't work. It just makes your hands wet. Yeah, where does where is Marvin in this first scene? Because he's pretty badly injured. Oh yeah, 
if it's got a tick, you can discard it. That's the name of the game. I don't know why it's like that. I don't want to look at you. Because then it makes you feel like I actually have to go do it straight away. I don't. Because you, it, it has no bearing on whether or not you... There's no time limit. So let's just touch everything, put my hands on everything, because that's how viruses are spread. Um, because then it tags it on the map, saying, well done, you put your greasy hands all over everything. Anything of mild importance, you touched. If it had a prompt, you poked it with your face. <clears throat> I love the redesigns. Uh, they're very in-keeping and modernized with, like, I had a cheat sheet for these, so I could legit just originally, when I was playing through the game after the first time, I got to a point where I was just like, I'm just going to get the cheat sheet, and I kind of broke the game, because you can just cheat sheet your way through it and get like pretty much all of the first section done within like, well, one of my friends said he did it in a quarter of an hour the first section because you can really just breeze through it, but sometimes that fucks you up <coughs> because, um, <coughs> because, uh, you know, if you're breezing through it, you tend not to like clear out areas and there's some areas in this part of the game you will come back to at least once and have a very angry man chasing you and you probably, you know, you can imagine that that means you probably don't want to get tagged by guys that are like blocking your way and they have later on especially in the second runs they have this horrible habit of standing in a dark corner with their back to you so that you can't really see what they is what they look like that's got a pouch in it but um i don't have that cheat sheet anymore because it was on my old phone and that one exploded don't leave your phone charging overnight, kids, because it literally nearly blew up and it was on the thing next to me while I was sleeping. And I was like, oh, why is it turned? Why is it melted to the like contact? Oh my god, it's boiling hot shit. And like it had all of my files on it and stuff. But I had an SD card, so I ejected it and got most of the stuff back, but that was saved to the phone. It's a hard drive. So yeah. Don't leave stuff to charge overnight because they do have resistors to turn them off when they recharge while they're recharging if they hit full charge if they're left plugged in but they will eventually wear down and my phone was about five six years old you know, actually it was only like that one was only two years old if you don't you know if you have them for any length of time they will overload the resistor that stops them from I think that's what I'm guessing happened. Either way, it melted, caught fire, and the whole thing was, well, nearly caught fire, and the whole thing was just like, I took it to a repair guy, and he was like, nah, that's fucked, man. Just buy a new phone, and I was like, fine. But, you know, there's a whole problem with buying phones as a Westerner in China. Uh, not because you're not allowed, it's just that all of the phones here are, like, super busted, and, like, have a load of, like, you know, the Huawei scandal in the West. Yeah. Pretty much all the phones here are Huawei, or like a limited version of a Western phone. They have Apple phones now, because after all of that kickoff that Apple made, we're not going to let you put back doors in our phones and limit people's freedoms. They quietly, behind doors, were given a lot of money and told, yeah, okay, we'll change our mind. We'll just conveniently like, okay, people who have Apple IDs that are set in China can't have VPNs and are under subject of monitoring from the Chinese government. So that's fun. Luckily, my Apple ID is from the UK, so I don't have that problem. But yeah, Chinese people who own Apple products are still subject to uh, their government's laws, which are basically everything is censored and they're watching you all of the time. Because China, but we're not going to get political because that's actually quite dangerous for me to do, considering where I live, so, um, we'll leave that until I vacate the country, um, <clears throat> which I will do at some point, I was thinking Vietnam or Japan or something, because I've gone on holiday to Vietnam and it was amazing, I have friends in Japan, Japan, 
and they say it's really interesting and I've heard that there's great food there and I've tried Japanese food in places like Hong Kong and stuff which was like and it was like prepared by Japanese people so I guess if you're like it's gotta be authentic yeah it was authentic kind of as close as I could get about literally moving to Japan or going on holiday there <clears throat> it's quite expensive the flights and stuff so I haven't got round to it yet I'm kind of going down a strange like tangent here what were we talking about phones breaking and stuff anyway um Yeah, anyway, I could just ramble on forever about this stuff. Or we could focus on the game. <laughs> seems to be, she seems to walk slower than I remember. Actually, my last RE playthrough was uh, RE4. I finished it for the first time recently. And I was like, oh yeah, this is pretty good fun. And I've seen playthroughs, full playthroughs of it before. And I was kind of half watching them, and I was like, oh yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, it's pretty good. My version seemed to do this annoying thing where if you were running and you stopped and did this with the shotgun with Leon and Paul, it would just always auto go like that. So if you were running up to a guy and like, I'm going to get him with a headshot with my shotgun, it would just go, Nyeh. and like immediately, and you'd be like, Duff. and you'd always get hit because you'd just run into their swing range and you were trying to shoot them and you're it auto like within a second would go from there to there and you just immediately miss the shot and it was really frustrating in tense positions <clears throat> I think it was just some sort of glitch with my version of the game good game second half I felt really does not hold up and is a very big sign of the times of video games at that point where they were like kids like the shooters right put the zombies in cargo pants and have guys with gatling guns and make it a war zone and it just feels like a completely different game after a while and you're just like huh i like the castle section but those areas just didn't feel as well realized like graphically even and i had a real big problem with the characters uh, the enemies in that area because their designs were just so random there'd be like a zappy boy with like a gas mask and like um glow sticks, not glow sticks, zap sticks, well, you, know, you know what I mean, taser sticks, and, um, you know, there'd be, like, big guys that had, like, Kano face plates, but had big, dumb, spiky power metal outfits on with big axes, and you were like, okay, well, what, what's the theme for this area, because then they'd have, like, big guys with berets and, like, shotguns, not shotguns, um, Gatling guns. No matter how fast you go, you will never make it. Don't cry for him. He's not real. Do, 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 do. Doesn't matter, you're dead. Now this is a pretty brutal scene. I don't want to ruin it. This is very metal. <laughs> He's fine, right? Yeah, you just pull him. It'll be, it'll be fine. He's gonna be fine. It's amazing he's still able to speak. Just put pressure on it. He'll be fine. Tell Marvin what? Tell Marvin I said hello. Tell Marvin I was cheating on him. With his wife. I think that does break open after a while. Oh no, I always fuck this one. <laughs> I always run away because I think, oh, every time. This guy always gets me. Because I'm bad. You'll see a theme in all my LPs. Yeah. Run away. Whoa, run further. Yeah, this is locked. Why do I do that? Dub-a-dub. Running away. Oh. Hello, friend. Friend? <laughs> if I shoot you in the genitals, you'll fall down. That was a terrible hit. 
Yeah, you're gonna see a lot of like me. I realized in RE4, hey, if you need cap enemies, if you need cap enemies, yeah, they fall down, and you, then you can suplex them. You can't suplex them in this, but like, uh, if you need cap enemies, they fall down. Kick him. Like an egg, like an eggshell or coconut. <laughs> 